Episode 65. This is it. Welcome. Wow. Welcome to the jungle. Welcome to the fucking jungle, dude. This is it, dude. We did it. If you ready, baby. How many people do you think thought we would get to 65? No one. No one. Everyone doubted. Dude, when we first started this, everyone was like, what are you guys doing a podcast? Yeah, Davin yeah. was the first oh, seed cool. of doubt. Who? Davin. Oh, wow. He was like, was you, guys, was? you guys want to do a podcast? Yeah, he was like, you know, you're not really going to. It's like, yeah, you and every other comic has a podcast. Yep. Like, listen, bitch. Yep. Our podcast is different. Ours is actually funny. I mean, we have to crush Davin by now. Davin's, I mean, Davin's he's, in, he's in the rear view, dude. He is. I don't even remember. Spaceships him. don't come equipped with <laughs> rear view mirrors, dude. We took off. We're not looking back. That's true. But yeah, that was the start of it. That was the first hater. Yeah, we've had haters throughout. Every, I mean, every great person has haters. True. Yeah, They're, a lot of people. We had, we had, we were getting a lot of flack from a while, for a while from people being like, fucking podcast. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you do anything, people usually yeah. hate. Silence, dude. I haven't heard anything now. Yeah, if you don't have haters, that's when you know you're doing something wrong. True that. I, I love Cat Williams' approach to haters, dude. Yeah, it's like you got haters, I'll take some. Yeah, you can exactly. Give them to me, baby. Give me them. I love it. I, I, dude, a, I, I need a tall T that says, <laughs> "I love haters." Love my haters. I just watched his last special. the The problem with loving haters is, uh, th- some people need haters. Some yeah. people rightfully have haters. Yeah. Like, and they're just like, Sorry, I love my haters. You can't stop me, baby. It's well, like, it's no, like, they're right to hate you. Like when Paul E.D. became like a, he like got off of Jersey Shore and became like a, a DJ. People was like, Paul E.D.'s a douchebag. It's like, yeah. And he's like, Sorry, yeah. you're just a hater. You're it's haters. Like, no, like, you no, actually suck. You are. Yeah. You do kind you of fucking, fucking suck. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Hitler could have had that mentality. Of like, sorry, haters. Yeah, he had yeah, a lot like, of haters. There's just so many fucking haters right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to ball out. And I'm trying to just rise like above the hate. Yeah. True that. So, how are you? Chilling, dude. Another hot start. Yeah. It's, <laughs> fucking, it's like a lawnmower. We're just trying to restart this. And he's like, boom, dun, 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 dun. Keep pushing the choke button. Yeah. We'll get some. We'll get I, some uh, fire yeah, going. No doubt, dude. We'll get a fire I, going. I was up all night last night. My dog was throwing up a belt. <laughs> it ate a belt uh, two weeks ago and decided now, like, all right, enough of this fucking belt in my stomach. Time to throw up this belt. I've been up since four in the morning. It would just wake up and be like, huh? <gasps> <laughs> it sounded like a fucking 40 year old dude was like fucking puking next to me did you have to pull it out no I was about to take him to the emergency vet I was about I was like fuck I can yeah, it was gonna be like 500 bucks rip some shit up in there. he didn't eat the buckle luckily oh okay the buckle's still sitting on my dresser I got half a belt on my dresser <laughs> <laughs> I was like this is gonna be 500 bucks what you talk Jackson. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely Jackson. Yeah, such a beast dude classic pit bull yeah just eating a belt and you know then pit bulls he... are garbage right no they're not dude pit bulls are garbage How, ass dogs on, on what grounds uh they're aggressive they're actually really sweet, dude. I mean, nah. I was a, I was a dog walker. Fuck that. So I've interacted with all like countless. Oh bees. yeah, you don't like labs, you said. Labs right? are the worst. Dude. Labs are the best. Labs are fucking sneaky, dude. No, nah, they're good. I had dogs. more. Tr- I'd walk in on pit bulls. I'd get a walk. I mean, a lot of people would give dog walkers shit, but there's like a crocodile hunter aspect to it, where you walk into a house with a dog you don't know, and you have to just be ready for anything. So you think pit bulls are good? Yes. It just is about who's raising them. Yeah, definitely. Who's raising pit bulls? What do you mean? What do you mean? They're all over the world. Whoever whoever raises pit bulls. Where do you see the most pit bulls, you think? A lot in England. No. See a lot of pit bulls uh, in England. Know, where do you see pit bulls, dude? Literally. I, don't, I have a pit bull. Everyone has them. Huh. Farms a lot of times. They're an English breed. Really? Yeah, my cousin has pit bulls. I feel like they're not in farms a lot. Where do you, where do you, get, where do you think they are? I'm, I I'm missing it. In Mechanicsburg, I didn't see a lot of pit bulls. Really? And then in West Philly, they seem to be prevalent. <laughs> so what do you think? <laughs> Who's raising pit bulls is what I'm getting at. You were saying why if do they I have a bad you, name? Like, because usually when you s- s- talk to people who love pit bulls, particularly white people and white women who love pits, love yeah, they're pitties, nice. They're love, really nice dogs. Love my pitties. They're always like, it's a really nice breed. It's just about who's raising them. Mm-hmm. And then if you're like, wait, who's raising them? They do what you just did. They're like, I don't know. <laughs> I, I know you're. I know a trap you're trying to get me I'm, into. Of course, I'm trying to be like, oh, you mean black people with pit bulls? Yeah, I mean, if you raise a pit bull bad, it's going to be mean. Yeah. So is this you're saying I should be like black people shouldn't have pit bulls? <laughs> no, it's just funny. <laughs> yeah. Anytime somebody like loves oh, I got you. Yeah, yeah. and you're like, so well, wait, it's a good breed, but it's just who's raising them. Yeah. And then it's like, well, wait, who's raising them? Yeah, no one's gonna be like, well, black people, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Even like it's funny to try to like dance around that, and be like, what do you mean? 
I what? mean, uh, what do you mean, dude? Uh, <laughs> Where do you see him? I see him on farms. <laughs> no, you fucking don't. <laughs> My cousin has a pit bull on a farm. Your cousin's black. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, dude, they're, uh, that is a funny piece of it, dude. Like the Rough Riders video. Yeah. They definitely they got, have they fucking, got glamorized. They didn't have collies in that. Well, they look sick. They are. They're they are fucking, definitely like the dog equivalent. they're fighting dogs. They're like the dog equivalent of like a sick chain. Yeah. If you just have like a fucking two huge pit bulls, mm-hmm. it looks fucking nice. With a fucking chain leash. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Those a spike sick. leash. Yeah. That is tight how that translates to you being some sort of like fucking sick yeah, ass Yeah, it's like dude. white guys get hummers. Yeah. To be like, I'm the fucking man. Yeah. It's like the black guy's hummer. It's two fucking pit bulls. They get a pit fucking pit bull and they're like... I'm the man. <laughs> <laughs> there's also, I, I think there's a, uh, it's weird. I, th- I think it's a lot of, it happens a lot with poor people because like my parents with dogs, no, it's serious, dude. They're that? poor. If you're poor, you're behind. So like my parents grew up with like, you keep a dog in a backyard and you just, that's your dog and you don't let it inside. That's like, yeah. that's how you do it. And a lot of poor people do that too. To where like, so if you're growing up poor, you have a dog, you're watching someone raise a dog and you're like, dude, what the fuck are you doing, bro? I'm, I'm so if you're poor, you don't treat dogs nicely. Is that a lot what you're of times, yeah. Okay, a lot of times. And that's who's poor. A lot of black people are poor, bro. Fucking, <laughs> it's just the facts. What are you doing? <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's true. Check the stats. I might, I might, I might going to walk into this, and I'm going to let you know, dude. The facts. You're going to let me know the facts. Yeah. That. Pitbulls if you're are poor, good breeds, so but it, when poor black people raise them, that's when they're bad. Most times, yeah. <laughs> that does happen, dude. I mean, think I got my pit. Yeah, yeah, all right. <laughs> like, I'm not saying that. Matt McCusker is saying. I mean, that. if you, <laughs> I think I don't. I, I would never blame poor black people for pit bulls being aggressive dogs. I'm not blaming them. You just said that. No, I'm not. Yeah, huh? <laughs> no, I didn't. Dude. I'm just trying to be fair in this I'm assessment. To be damn fair. I'm trying to be damn fair in this. Those are the facts. But I mean, dude, it's like my dog came from Olney, was just buzzing around. My boy's dog came from Olney, had like. Chipped up tooth, teeth from dog fighting. Yeah, who does dog fighting? It was that was an old. Th- I, I, dude, I'm telling you, I, I don't. I have to read this book, but Thomas Sowell has a theory in his book called "Black Rednecks, White Liberals," where they think like popular black culture was just taken from like white cracker culture. Because hmm. I wouldn't be surprised to find out there was a lot of dog fighting in the South among white people in like oh, the 1800s. No. no, I mean white people always like they did bear baiting. Exactly, you know what that is yeah. So you just tie up a bear and let dogs rip it apart? <laughs> I, I, I think pitbulls. I didn't know what that yeah, was, you actually. you tie up a bear, and it fights dogs. That was sick, Hal. I was like, yeah, I know what that is. Yeah, like, you know what baiting. it is? I was like, nah, I don't know what <laughs> bear the fuck it is. And then uh, I think they use pitbulls for that. Yeah. So I, I'm wildly surmising, but I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, if it's evil, it's it's white people's fault. No doubt. That's all you need to know about history. 9-11. Well, look at that. Look at 9-11. What? It was clearly not white people who did that. You don't think so? Every single person's like, "Yeah, I bet white people were behind this." <laughs> I'm think I'm full blown. I'm like literally half and half, GB versus Taliban. What? George Bush. Yeah. What about him? He could have done it, dude. No, he couldn't. He could have placed explosives in there. No, he couldn't have. What was he doing when they told him the news? He was reading a sick book about exactly, goats. dude. If I just Florida. blew up two buildings in New York, where would you find me? I'd be doing some weird volunteer for like little kids reading a book and like, what happened? That's crazy. I didn't know that. Uh, I mean, you can't, you can't just be like, he had the perfect alibi, therefore he must be guilty. I, well, if you look at all the stuff, dude, about the steel beams melting, dude, I, I, I don't know that he did it. I don't rule it out, though. <laughs> That's my thing. Sure. I'm all right with that. Exactly. You're allowed to, like, the 9-11 conspiracy stuff is like, I, I'm, I'm pretty firmly anti-truther. It's entertainable, But though. if there's stuff in there that's like, I mean, there's, you, you can... You can keep an open mind to like they've done false the flags before. Fucked up. They've done false flags before. Yeah, but not like that. They just faked like the Gulf of Tonkin. Pearl Harbor, like, bro. Some people were shooting. Ah, I don't. That's not false. They knew that was coming. And they were Maybe. like, let them go. Maybe they did. <laughs> There's some speculation on that too, <laughs> dude. That is wild though, as I really do. Like, I don't believe fully in them, but to think of the dudes who walk around all day being like. I know he fucking did it, dude. I know Bush. Did. It's a fucking wild Jadakus, world. Jadakus believes it. Yeah, definitely. Why did Bush knock down the towers? Yep, dude. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> um, yeah. So, so you were believe, saying black people? I can't believe you said dogs. that about black people. I didn't say that at all. I'm just saying that if you're poor and you own dogs, you're not out here taking them to the fucking yeah, Zoom not, room. Yeah, they're not wearing a sweater. Exactly. They're not wearing fucking booties, dude. Yeah, they're kept outside. Yeah. My uh, 
Whenever you travel, dogs like other countries in Spain. When mm-hmm. I was there, they kept their dogs outside. Yeah, in and Africa, like, dogs. Everybody keeps dogs outside. In Africa, dogs are like just you more of a remember. nuisance. They just wander yeah, around. Yeah, yeah. And it's like they're if you like show a dog respect there, it'd be like if someone was like hugging a deer and petting it, you'd be like, "What the fuck are you doing?" <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Why would in, you do uh, that? My ex girlfriend went to Chile, and uh, she studied abroad there. And while she was there, like there were so many stray dogs. Steve-O just rescued one. That, like, when they would leave a bar, they would have to run home because there'd be, like, <laughs> packs of dogs. I would fucking love that. Hilarious. Dude. They'd be like, don't run. Don't run. And then her one friend ran. A bunch of dogs chased after her. Really? Yeah, pretty hilarious. Dude, that'd be awesome. It's good that Steve-O rescued that dog down there. And made a video of it and put it on yeah, YouTube. Yeah, that was sick. Everywhere I go, this dog goes with me. It's so fucking lame, dude. Yeah, what a butt fucker. I met him and I love this dog. Fuck that shit. Someone definitely, he has a PR agent that was like, all right, Steve O, we need to fucking, we need to put, is it's like all like one of those videos was like, din, 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 yeah, yeah, din, yeah, din, yeah, yeah. I just saw one of those this now this videos. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Can't believe you said that to start this thing. I didn't fucking say that. You at sure all. you don't want to delete this, dude? You don't want that on your record. It's not on my record. Dude, it that's. It is. What? 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 Run me said? back what I said. All right. You said pit bulls are a good breed. Yes. It's just when poor blacks get a hold no, of them. No, I didn't say that. <laughs> you said when poor blacks get a hold of them, they fuck them up. And they I did do not dog say fights. That. Anyone poor can fuck them up. That's one thing that the Michael Vick thing, uh, like people, it's funny to hear people be like, I forgive him. Yeah. It's like, dude, imagine a dog fight. It's horrible. Like, if you imagine the actual crime of what he did, it's like the fucking Ray Rice Rice incident where he popped his fucking chick in the elevator. It's like, if you hear about it, you're like, I, you know, he served a suspension. I forgive him. Yeah. Then if you see it, you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. He fucking nailed her. Fucking weirdo. If you saw what fucking Mike Vick was doing to those dogs, you'd be like, dude, get him off TV right now. Yeah. He's clearly he's torturing animals. It's heinous, dude. Yeah, really disgusting. It's shit. heinous, and then like you, you know, if they, if they lose too many times, you just kind of. I mean, they're not putting them down with fucking like hypodermic needles full of no, like. No, he some was sort drowning of, them. Was he and, drowning and, them and hanging them from trees and what? fucking electrocuting? I them? figured they would just shoot him. No, he would fucking hold them in a pool. He was drowning dogs, much like you did with those mice. Those mice were fucking. Oh, fucking they, they were spreading fucking. <laughs> <laughs> they were spreading pestilence, dude. Oh, what what reminded me of it was I watched. Uh, there's a movie called Thank You for Your Service. It's about. Uh, I can't believe he's drowning dogs. Yeah, he was. He, I think he was electrocuting dogs. It was weird. Dude. Did he play after that at all? Yeah, he came to the Eagles. He was pretty after good after he got out of jail. He, he was did great. pretty fucking good. Yeah, fuck yeah, I loved watching him play. Yeah, uh, there was just a football life on him, and so it's like a kind of like a mini half hour documentary on like his career and like yeah. interviewing him and coaches and shit. And then they just had this lady from like the SPCA or whatever, the ASPCA. How do you say that? The dog ASPCA, thing? Yeah. yeah. And she's like, uh, Mike Vick is a sociopath. He's actually a psycho. <laughs> like, yeah. Then it well, would come dude, back to coaches. Like, I, mean, I love think the guy. about, think about if you grew up and you saw dog fighting before you like, sure. Made your morals all set up. Yeah. 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 That would look fucking awesome. You would see it and be like, holy fucking <sighs> shit. True. I, I mean, mean, I'm just saying, if you're if you're true. like five and you're just like, whoa, this is fucking sick. I know. And then I someone's like, yeah, aspect. well, guess what? You can make a lot of money doing this too. Yeah. And then he's a quarterback, so he doesn't need the money. But he's like, you know what's fucking fun? Yeah, I do understand that aspect. But but that's that's a weird uh, racist way to look at it. No, it's not. Yeah, it is, dude. dude I mean, I, I, when it's I, just black culture. No, when I was little, I used to fucking like cut frogs' head off and put like frogs fucking, aren't dogs, dude. I know. I'm saying I know. If you cut a fucking cat's head off, I'd my be thing like, is I used to take fish I mean, and like we'd, it. we used to put fireworks like put an M80 in a cat's gill and like blow its head up and it's like <laughs> yeah fuck catfish it was exactly they sting you they, they suck but that's what I was doing so I always loved dogs when I was little so I I wouldn't have done that yeah. but but if you grow up in Virgin- I'm not condoning Virginia it. Beach that's I mean it's from. horrible it's so shitty to do yeah I'm just trying to imagine like because when you're like to have the mentality of like all right these dogs are gonna fight you lost. Just drown him. It's like, dude, how the fuck are you or doing? Hang that? it, yeah. hang it from a tree. See, that's unnecessary. Yeah, but they also. So anyway, I was watching this. Uh, what reminded me of it? I was watching. Thank you for your service, and it's about a true story about these dudes who came back from Iraq with PTSD, and it's real yeah. fucked up. But the one dude goes to a dog fight, and I, I was watching it like, man. It's fucked up. That's fucking crazy. Stop trying to pin me for saying racist stuff, by the way. I just fucking realized what? that. You did do that. What's well, kind of racist? You're assuming that all black guys grow up in poor farms. <laughs> like, oh, I, didn't. <laughs> I definitely didn't say poor farms, you weirdo. Whatever I'm not saying you they're said. slaves. Whatever you said. Uh, 
can't believe you said oh Mackie sent me this it was funny as shit this guy on CNN was like he was going over the demographics of people who voted for somebody and he was like everybody he's like white people Asians slate black people <laughs> it was like holy oh, shit what <laughs> yeah, yeah I mean that's a career ender he let the fucking slaves slip when thinking and talking about black people dude that's a career what ender what a fucking moron I mean he was an old geezer so fuck it. Career's He's not over. that fucking old, dude. I mean, oh yeah, in terms of his career. They had a retirement party for him that day. Oh my just God. Like, Here's your cake, dude. Beat it. <laughs> That's been, I've been thinking about that a lot lately of like the difference between, you know, racial humor or just being like, I fucking hate black people. Just like really harbor that. You know what I mean? People who walk around all day harboring that, just being like, like well, those guys on Fox. Like there were so many people when Obama won who were just like, fuck him. <laughs> fuck him and to think about like to be unaware of that and be able to be like no 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 his things are bullshit he's a Muslim blah 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 they're like I have no problem with him being black he's a yeah. fucking Muslim he's this he's that that's a wild that's a wild thing to have on that's a wild thought helmet to have on what to just, just, to just, just subconsciously a, you just fucking hate black blatantly people blatantly racist yeah I think the I think what is I, I do think those people exist but I don't think there's that many I, I think there's a good amount. Too. Well, I mean, yeah, there's a lot, but I'm saying I think the where you run into racism is usually the in between, where it's like you're not you're not sub like you're not constantly like fucking hate black people. No, that's true. But if it comes down to it, like I knew I used to work with guys who like, so we'd be working somewhere in Philly. Hot <laughs> no, we no listen. I used to work with guys. We working somewhere in Philly, and it was like all they had to do was drive down Walnut Street. To Havertown, so you can cut right through Upper Darby. Yeah. It takes fucking 15 minutes. Yeah. And this guy was like, no, I'm going to take 470. He's got to ask me how to get to like 76. I'm like, dude, just fucking go down Walnut Street. And he was like, I can't stand looking at him, bro. And I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, I, I just, I don't want to drive through that black neighborhood. I got to take the highway. And I'd be like, what the f-? Is that where you got all your pit bull ideas from? No, I'm telling you, dude. <laughs> I don't have my fucking ideas. That's what I, that's how I can Woo! speak on anything, dude, because I don't have hate in my heart. True. No, I mean... So I'm undeterred, dude, by your fucking... Your attempts to bring me down. You might be deterred a little. I'm not deterred. All right, good. The, um, but no, that this guy <laughs> literally... get off this topic. I was... It's funny. Every time I try to write comedy... Yeah. I end up just... Yeah. Writing racial... Like, it's all about that. That's all it's I fucking... It's your subconscious fucking instinct, It's dude. not my subconscious thing. It's just... it's con- That's like the world <laughs> we're in. Yeah. It's like it's where true. every single thing is about that. And it's fucking ridiculous. I don't know. I mean, I guess I don't. It it depends it's too not because, race, but also sexism and homophobia and shit like that, where it's just like yeah, it's definitely it's our world. I'm not talking about our yeah. country or whatever, but yeah. it's like living here and being around open mic comics mm-hmm. and comedy itself. Like, I mean, yeah, any form of entertainment. The, the, yeah. uh, the Grammys were last night, and that oh was oh my god, uh, oh my god, I Grammys, that. Grammy so male, dude. Grammys, Grammy so male. It was too male for me. So male, dude. Did well, you see Kesha's powerful performance? I saw it. Yeah. I saw I saw clips of it, dude. How hard did all right? So Kesha, for those of you who didn't watch, good for you. Uh, I guess she was raped. Allegedly, and she has a song yeah. About by, it. She she alleges that her sound engineer raped her or sexually abused her in some capacity. And then she has a song, like a hit right now. That's about big like, hit about forgiving. Fuck you. I hope you. Get it's what you it's, have it's yeah like, it's that put it's, as nicely as possible to be like sure. I hope you pray and have a change of heart yeah 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 and then all the divas joined her all on the divas stage. joined her on stage and she hugged them all and cried mm-hmm. and uh, and then it cut to James Corbin Corden Corbin yeah the fat British guy who's not gay somehow <laughs> and he had to be he was like the host he had to be so like, when they finished that he had to be like he had to try so hard to cry like think really? about his head of Gene like. You got to pretend that that was the most powerful thing you've ever seen in your life. Yeah. Imagine if he was just like, nice. Yeah, I know. Uh, <laughs> well, dude, it, so I watched that this morning and I was like, I'm fucking sick of this Hollywood bullshit. And then you watch, did you see the Nassar stuff? The Larry Nassar, well, yeah, yeah, the doctor? Yeah, yeah. The gymnast. The there was State. like 150 girls who came in and were just like, you abuse me, you abuse me. You, yeah. the, the lady sentenced him to like 100 and I think 50 years, 175 oh, you had years. Oh, a lady judge? Yeah, dude. Talk she, about your all time backfires. But <laughs> fucked him, dude. <laughs> But fuck him. She had like a 15 minute statement herself. I didn't. He I wrote didn't her see a letter it, too. He wrote I heard her. It was horrific, dude. It was that's because I was like fucking the Grammy bullet. Then you watch that and you're like, oh boy, yeah, that's a bad one. That's what uh, Kyla was saying while we were watching it. What? Because we were making fun of it while we were watching Kesha. Yeah, saying some pretty horrific things. Yeah. What's uh, the instinct when, you, especially when you see Hollywood? For some reason, when Hollywood takes yeah. up a cause, I'm like, 
I instantly am like, no. and then uh, with the British guy commentating on it, yeah, like I was, I was joking that he was like a British soccer analyst, like, and Kesha, absolute brilliant, like all that <laughs> yeah, shit, just yeah. like seemingly unrapeable. <laughs> <laughs> She's been raped. <laughs> yeah, really horrible stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Almost unrapeable. <laughs> But she's done it. Absolutely brilliant. Thank you, Kesha. Magisterial performance. You've done it. Even though you brag about being a slut, you've been raped. Yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> so you're slut shaming, dude. Yeah. Well, I was being a horrible slut Yeah, you're being a dickhead. I was intentionally being, you know. Yeah. In the name of comedy. In the name of beautiful art. Yeah. But, uh. Heard that. Yeah, like while Kesha was crying, I was like, absolutely brilliant. You've dressed like a matador and claimed rape on a national stage. <laughs> undeniable <laughs> but um <gasps> kyla was up there and she was like you you gotta stop like she was like well did you see the thing with the guy from michigan state today yeah it's like maybe these girls aren't all lying and i was like yeah. wait yeah i'm not saying cash lies first off if you think the narrative in this country is that all women are lying versus what the narrative actually is which is women are never lying yeah, that's You've that's got this ridiculously twisted. That's the thing about it too, to where like, I mean, dude, a year ago, a, a year ago it though, takes about ten seconds for me to think about what I just like, said. <laughs> as soon as I got dude, done, I was like, God damn it! But dude, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, a year ago though, it was like there was people coming out being like, I always believe a woman, and then that kind of was like, Well, you can't do that. That's why the justice system. And then the conversation is so uncomfortable that it just fades into the background. Yeah. So then when all this stuff comes out now, like, dude, who the fuck just came down? I think the, the – who's the guy the casino mogul just got in trouble for sexual assault allegations? And He's he, sick if he was a native. He lost like 350 – no, he's not a native. He <laughs> lost like, a native casino No, he was, they wouldn't give a fuck. He lost like $357 million. And since he was a donor, I think he used to like donate money to the RNC. They're like, well, give back the money he gave you. And the RNC is like – no. Yeah, that's what they were doing with Weinstein and the DNC. Yeah. And they were like, no. <laughs> no. Everyone was like, no. Nah. They are like, uh, we'll give back a little bit, yeah, I yeah. guess. Well, we're going to donate some to women. Yeah. <laughs> Clinton Foundation. Yeah, yeah. Goes right back into the machine. Absolute. But, dude, it's it's brilliant. like, they're, it's hitting a point now where it's like, you can't tell me now that it's like, if you want to dismantle, if you're, if you're Democrats and it's like, those the politicians aren't being like, well, is it right to kind of allege stuff? I'm, I'm not saying they're doing it. I don't know, but it's yeah. definitely usable to be like, like the point when they got their guy, they're like one of the RNC's big funders, and it's like, well, they give that money back because they're they're it's like strategically trying to take money out of their Republican yeah, yeah, policy. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like, dude, this is fucking crazy. Yeah, I mean that's where like the Roy Moore thing. Yeah. It's like I think he was pretty guilty, dude. But what? also, it was an interesting timing on when all those allegations came out. Yeah, as soon as it was re-election time. Yeah, and he, like I and said, it's like that's odd. He didn't help himself because yeah, I was, he was watching a fucking like weirdo. Come on, bro. And that when he did that one where it's like <laughs> you had sex with a seventeen-year-old and you're thirty, he was like, I don't think so. <laughs> I was like, Come on, man. It's like the fucking uh, Jesus. Sandusky thing. It was like, Are you attracted to boys? He's like, what do you mean by attractive? It's like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I... Uh, dude, dude, now all I want to do is soccer voice about Kesha. What? In my head. I'm that's, just, dude, that is that's fucking funny. all in my head right now. Just, that is... Absolute brilliance. Well, that, and it's, the unrapeable. It is weird. Raped. It is weird, though, to be like... Uh, I can't think of how to say it, but it's like a commoditized... Like It's like a commodity now of like oppression... Fighting oppression. It's like something you can sell now. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's fully, fully. There's like no denying it. They're selling Time's Up pins. Yeah, exactly. Someone's making fucking bank. Six said he ordered you and me Time's two up. Time's Up pins. Good. I'll, I'll I'm wear I'm definitely it. wearing that. I don't wear it. It's just, when you watch something, like, that's, the, that's the split of it for me. It's like, well, that was my big uh, season sorry beef. It's like, there's women who get raped and it's absolutely horrific. They get raped. Ra- you know, that. Yeah. It, Whatever happens, it's horrible. And then it's like, and then you get that girl against Aziz Ansari who was like, I was on a date and I sucked the guy's dick and I didn't really want to, but I did it anyway. Because yeah. I thought I'd have a famous boyfriend and everyone would be jealous of me. And then it didn't pan out the way I wanted it. And I'm just going to say that I was uncomfortable and kind of assinuate that he sexually assaulted me. And that's yeah, yeah, yeah. when people, if you're like, that's bullshit. People are like, well, fuck you. You don't know what it's like. And it's like, <laughs> you're just watering down a rape dialogue to where people who got raped are like, no, that you're not. 
That's not the same thing. You can't do that. No, of course not. And that's why I don't know what Kesha's thing was. Like, did she get date raped? I have no idea. I don't know. I have no idea about Kesha. That's what I'm saying. I don't know either. But I do know she sang a pretty powerful song about she it. She did. And that's all that matters now. <laughs> that you put on a sick performance at the Grammys. I mean, it's tough to say because who knows what happened. That's the thing. And I think, I think it's pretty well. I've never heard anybody dispute Kesha. No, I never heard it either. So I, I, I bet she got it. She probably did. She did. It was a negative experience. I like Kesha. So do I, dude. Timber. I saw her sex all tape. That shit. You she saw a, Kesha? She had a, she had a sex, sex tape. tape. She yeah. looks like John Travolta. I couldn't figure she out what exactly she looked like, like but John she looks Travolta. like something. I couldn't figure you it out. You can find pictures online of her that look identical to John Travolta. There was an alleged sex tape where it was just like cum on her belly, and that was it. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, see, now. yeah, I saw that. And I always, people, whenever that was I say like where the John Travolta face was like <laughs> majorly. Whenever I say I saw a sex tape with like a pop star, I got instantly I'm like, how old was she in that tape? I'm like, <laughs> uh, maybe I saw it. Oh, speaking of that, I saw some weird shit on line yesterday. What? It was they're putting people's faces on porn stars. Have you seen that? No. There was just. Uh, I saw a video of the redhead from Game of Thrones. Oh, no, I've seen them do that and before. And then yeah. Emma Watson's face. But no, not like pictures. They look. Like full videos. Whoa. Like videos where they can manipulate it so the face stays on and like looks real. How's Pretty that crazy. going? No, I didn't really watch it much. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't watch it long. It's not like I like the redhead from Game of Thrones. <laughs> that's a sick market, I guess. No, that's fucking crazy. Yeah. That's really weird. I mean, I'd be pissed. I, I don't know, though. If someone fucking was, like, putting my head on, like, Lex- Lexington Steel and it was just me, I'd pay to watch, actually just have, like, put me on Evan Stone, dude, and just yeah, watch well, me fucking you're not work. a hot lady. That's, <laughs> <laughs> you're a fucking disgusting yeah, dude. That's true. <laughs> you're a weirdo that blows up catfish and says things about black people. And Can you pimples. imagine that? Just having, like, or putting, like, my head on Buck Angel's body and watching me work, dude? <laughs> yeah, I could imagine that, actually. It'd be hilarious. <laughs> That dude, is a funny thing to listener, do to someone. Google image Buck Angel right yeah, now. Yeah, right do now. Do yourself a strong favor and, and uh, take that. off the safe search. And if you think anything's gross about that, you're fucking you're weird. You're a fucking asshole. Dude. You're a bigot, you dumb bitch. You're a fucking asshole. I, I don't know what to tell you. What do you think about the State of the Union tonight? It's going to be fucking lit, dude. People are sick of winning. Politics are hot right now. Politics are real hot. Some guy, there was a dude in California recently who outlawed giving plastic straws out. Fuck yeah. Unless requested. So we outlawed it. And if you get, if so, if you, if I, if you had a burger place and I walked in and ordered and then you just gave me a plastic straw without me asking, in the bill, it was a misdemeanor. So you could face a thousand dollar fine and up to six months in prison. Hmm. So this dude came out and fought against it, this Republican guy, and was basically saying, like, it's ridiculous, blah, blah, blah. And at the end, he was like, this is the last straw. Dude, oh, kill this guy, dude. Damn, that's a Murdered walk off. Him. That's, that's a, sick, a walk off. Dude, literally dropped the money. It's like the guy who brought snow into. Senate, did you do you remember that? Yeah, he was arguing against fucking global warming. He brought a snowball in. <laughs> yeah. What a fucking idiot! He threw it at the dude. <laughs> yeah, what a dickhead. But yeah, he they used to like, get real naughty. Who? In Congress. What like punching and, and shit? Yeah, they used to fuck people up. Yeah, like, I uh, mean, dude, that goes back to my theory. It's like, like uh, when you watch those things of like, like the Kurdistan cabinet, and they're sure, all just brawling sure. and, and shit. Fighting, yeah. They're just behind like yeah, Ukraine, sixty yeah. fucking years, dude. Yeah, of course. That's, that's what they used to do. They used to get so mad and be like, woof, 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 and start fucking that's fighting. what happened to Sumter or Sumner. Someone fought him? It, before the Civil War broke out. I might join politics and just become like an enforcer. The Southern dude beat this guy almost to death with a cane. What? Yeah, I think it was Sumner. It's whatever. All right. So in they the Civil should... War, it started with a battle at Fort Sumter. Okay. So this guy's name was, I think, Charles Sumner. Uh-huh. But he, was, he got his ass beaten by a cane. Like to death almost in the Senate, and then and then Southern sympathizers started uh, sending the guy who did it like new canes. We're like, fuck yeah, dude, fuck this guy up. Way to be, way to fuck that dude up, dude. Back then, you could you could, it was like still kind of acceptable to have duels. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Andrew Jackson, dude, was a wild man. He dueled out. He he would like <laughs> stab people with. He had like a, a sword cane. He would like stab people, and then just like go and they'd be like, you stabbed a guy with your cane. They're like, he'd be like, yeah. Apparently, he had a parrot. That he cursed so much around that it started swearing. That's so funny. And then when funny. they had it at his funeral, it was swearing too much and they had to take it out. They had a fucking parrot at his funeral and it was swearing and they were like, all right, we got to get is this one. It was just sitting there like, uh, it! <laughs> That's hilarious. Absolute brilliance from Kesha. K. 
K-E dollar sign H-A. <laughs> Seemingly unrapeable. She's done it. Absolute brilliance. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, that's... That's not a character I'm going to bring on stage. <laughs> that's not a good one. <laughs> yeah, it's such a weird place to be in. Because my gut, when I see all this stuff, for some reason, it's probably because I'm a be chauvinist. Cynical. Probably because I'm a chauvinist. It, well, that's one thing about the whole... I like, watch uh, it, and I'm like, shut the fuck up. It's like, yeah. if Kesha got raped, obviously, condolences. But when I see it put into a weird... Music industry, when you see it get monetized. Actri- yeah, like an actress spotlight where like now there's like teams of people writing about it and making money. It's like oh, this is fucking weird. Yeah, there's, something, now, there's something off. Is about this it. maybe maybe gonna? I don't know. It's like again, you have the Nassar thing where it's like yeah, it's good someone blew the whistle and you know busted his ass. But are there gonna be weird little girls out there being like? This is how you get famous? It's like, oh, so you can get the entire Grammys to stand up and hug you if you just go on stage and say that? Man, maybe I could... There's people out like there. I that attention. I'm crazy. I'm telling you, man. Yeah, there's crazy people. Exactly. Men and women. Yeah. There's a female version of Larry Nassar or whatever his name is. Yeah. You know no what I mean? She, God bless her heart, dude. She's out there. I, that was my rugby trainer, dude. If that was my rugby trainer. That you no, do no. It. I don't mean oh. committing that crime. Oh, what do you Because she can't. You know what I mean? Yeah. True Ladies that. can't do that. But they can do other things. It's like being a black racist. Yeah. It's like being a female rapist. True that. Yeah, no, that's true. Even and if you do it, people are like, no, nah, that's not right. There's <laughs> a lot of stuff with DHS where like, and no one no one even talked about this either, where like girls will just be like, to get back at dudes, will just throw out shit like, oh, he's sexually abusing the daughter. And then DHS goes and investigates and they're like, yeah, he's definitely not because... Yeah, there's a lot of crazy shit. That happens a lot, dude. Of course. And it's like... How dare you bring that up, dude? Sorry, dude. Not Don't at this you time. Dare. Not at this not time. Not right now, dude. Time's up right now. That's what you're talking about. That's what ladies... Time's and up. dude, and then they just skate. And that happens. They, they they can do it like three times before someone's like, hey, knock that off. And they're like, All Yeah, right. I forget which one it was. There was some fat lady in England that accused like 20 guys of rape oh, through her history. Yeah, yeah. I remember I actually heard and about that. It was that. mostly black dudes, I think, which is really funny. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Good for her, dude. Why? He's just throwing punches in the dark, just like hopefully I'll get some sympathy today. Oh I've had a sad life. Oh my God. <laughs> I mean, well, imagine just being that lady and seeing a black guy and being like, "Oh, he raped me," and yep. just running right to the cops. And it's just excuse like, me, excuse me, he got me. Believe he, it or not, that man raped me, isn't it? <laughs> he threw one in me bum when you wasn't looking, copper. Get him. That black fellow over there, get him, isn't it? He raped me, isn't he? Good old raping. <laughs> Threw his big black dick right in my chimney sweeper, huh, copper? <laughs> Beat his ass, would you? That's, that's exactly how it goes down. It is. Oh, my God. Isn't it? <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Brilliant. A fat bitch from England <laughs> accusing of rape, chasing black men like the boulder in Indiana Jones, <laughs> an unstoppable rape accuser. <laughs> I forget her name. Fuck it. Brilliant, isn't it? What the fuck are we talking about? I don't dude? know. This is garbage. Yeah, it's tough. <laughs> it's Let's yeah. take a break. I want to keep it because yeah. I think it's. Uh, I think it's funny. Let's take a break. I'll regret it. You are. Oh yeah. We back. Baby. Oh yeah, we're back. Uh, Just took a nice break. Had to nice regroup. Nice little break, dude. Regroup. I mean, we're using way too much brain power. I'm gonna. I'm gonna end up being very anxious about this one. You think so? For sure. Dude. I'll tough it out. Fuck it. Of course you'll tough it's it. It's on I mean, me. It, dude, I mean... It's you... Just trying to be funny. I exactly. gotta stop. Yeah. I don't care. Exactly, dude. Absolute! <laughs> You're a fucking comedian, dude. You don't... A sick Colin Kesha. Well, oh, it's funny. <laughs> Unrapeable. That's such a horrible it's, thing it's, to say to a rapist. Yeah, yeah. That's why you say it. All right. Hey, how are hey, you? Now, How's hey, work going? going? <laughs> How's work going, you fucking loser? <laughs> Pretend you're working. Do that thing where you stack paper on your desk. I want to get back into the, your... Um, your instincts, your racial joke instincts. Oh, well, this is how it happened was I went to, and Jesus Christ, I'm going to get called gay by all my friends for this, yeah. but I went to Starbucks to try to write. I was like, I never, ever write jokes. Mm-hmm. I should probably try to write a fucking joke. Yeah. So I went there to try to write shit. I ended up just listing things I don't like about black people on a notepad for three hours. And I was just like, what the fuck am I doing? What? And I just left. Well, I was trying to make jokes about it. About, like, funny things that people like usually what? don't make fun of. Like what? I don't know. Mostly about how, like, black people don't raise pit bulls right. Or, like, stuff that you would say. <laughs> yeah, right. 
<laughs> no, it's, uh, I forget what it was. I ended up trying to write something against Black Panther, the movie coming out. What was it, dude? I forget, but it's it just bothers me that everyone's sucking that thing's dick before yeah. it's even out. Yeah. It's like, can't wait. This is going to be so kick-ass. It's like, you're white. <laughs> you didn't act like this for Iron Man. Why are you pretending to be like this for this? Well, there again, there's a social currency to be like... Yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm trying stoked. to point out the social currency. It's funny to make fun of. It is, but it's tough. It's a fucking tightrope. It's a yeah, high of wire. Course. That's why you end up sitting there writing down a bunch of weird shit. Well, it's it's just like, hard. No one saw it's this hard not to look like it's like, all right, black superhero movie. Fuck this thing. It's hard not to look like that. Oh, man, there's so many when you're making fun of it. to just be like, what's the superpowers? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so many funny. Fucking... Well, it's funny because black comedians will just do that in a positive light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, but then I just, I, I really would rather stop talking about that shit. Yeah. I'd like to have a nice joke about cats and dogs. And what is fucking it? sandwiches, or I don't know. I know. I just now. But there's nothing funny to me. Now about I'm just thinking because like shit. every black comedian, Obama jokes, Obama barbecue yeah. jokes, like they're the Black Panther jokes. I mean, hilarious, dude. Black Panther jokes. What motherfucker gets his credit card bill? Throw that motherfucker out right there. Yeah, like, what's yeah. his superpower? <laughs> Hot credit? Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> it is funny that if you think about it, a lot of like black hacky comics do just if you flip them around like oh that's a really racist joke it's dude, just something my dad would say exactly <laughs> which proves Thomas Sowell's point dude what black rednecks white liberals you call my dad a black redneck no 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 <laughs> saying Thomas Sowell the fucking intellectual was saying that they a lot of black popular culture right now is I think taken you should dude from I, I'm gonna stop you culture. I'm gonna stop you right now you what? just call my dad a cracker I'm gonna stop you right yeah, now yeah I'm calling your dad a fucking cracker don't do that your dad still has a cracker culture in him please Please do not. When he gets to one of those fucking like Oba- please, Obama memes, dude. Please do not. When the, he gets the Obama, Obama memes, memes, were flowing, dude. Yeah, I get, I get four words. I'd go to work and someone would be like, check this out. And I'd be like, that's Obama with a gorilla head on him. They'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> dude, get out of here. Uh, the the forwards I'll get from, it'll be like my dad. And then they the old the old guys, they just have no idea. Well, first off, they're still sending forwards. Yeah. Of like one meme. Uh-huh. That you have to scroll, <laughs> you have to scroll through like nine hundred emails. It's like Lance at Hotmail, it. Lance at AOL dot com, Lance idiot. It goes on forever, all the way down. And to dude, just get to a picture of Obama like throwing sneakers over a wire, being like, "Yo, I'm out." Yep, and that dude, I'm telling you, and that's from a. Uh, there is definitely the underground network of like old joke. white guys to where like I think they like you just if you're like a fifty year old white guy in a Pet Boys, someone like stands there in like the fucking like tire cleaner sections like. Yeah, you want to see something racist? And you're like, yeah. <laughs> Check this out. You're like, dude, put me on the list. Please put me on the list. Get me on that for- Get me on that email list. I'll get you on. I dude. got you, dude. You <laughs> and just- fucking three thousand other dads. <laughs> yeah. Every single member of the Mechanicsburg Elks is on this fucking email thing, and I scroll through it every time. And the the title's like forward, 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 forward. Look at this. <laughs> it's, it's a fucking old old dad clickbait. That is sick, dude. It's That's sick stuff. how people solicit them. Yo, yeah, dude, that's, but you uh, see a picture of Obama climbing the Empire State Building. <laughs> come here, <laughs> whoa, dude! Did that's just, that's what they are. Up with that? That's what they are. Did you just come up with that? That's what the ones I've seen before. Oh, you've seen that one before? Yeah, shit like Did you that. Come up with that? That's that's. I an didn't come up with that. I've seen ones. You've with, seen one like that, or exactly that? The ones I've always the racist old man memes. Did I've you seen just come up with a racist meme? Or that? Um, yeah, but did you see that one before? I've seen everything I ever saw. Come up with that right? Everything I ever saw was monkey related. So you just came up with a funny monkey related Obama. I meme. didn't think it was funny. I thought it was distasteful. Obama climbing the Empire State Building. Fighting, I think it's distasteful. Fighting biplanes. That's yeah, hilarious. It's, it's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> and you just came up with that. Oh, I did. And you're afraid to admit you did. <laughs> I thought I saw it. I don't know. That's really great. Congratulations, dude. That's pretty. I just pretty much sketched that at Starbucks. I just sat there and drew that. <laughs> meme. I drew that meme, and I was just, like, "This is really great." You just had Obama <laughs> climbing the Empire State Building with little swastika shooting at him out of the sky. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I am sick though. Of people being total pussies about race right now. It sucks. It sucks yeah. so fucking bad. Yeah. Especially like I said, watching. And I'm not throwing this in there strategically, but like having a black like last night when I went to that open mic. And my haters are there, dude. I know my haters are there. And I'll yeah. go out and be like, hey, see you guys. And they're kind of like, you know, they're like, bang. Yeah. But then they like, when I'm there with Brittany, they like look at her and like, oh, hey, what's going on? And it's like, you have to emphatically say hi to dude, this chick because he's black. You better bring your black girlfriend in there. Let, let them all know. Dude, it was sick. I was grabbing her ass last night in there. 
I was, gra- yeah. I was grabbing on my bae. I just said a bunch of like misogynistic shit on stage and got off and a squeeze her ass and was like, what's up, baby? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh... I was making fun of uh, young white How about that video chicks. I showed you before we came down here? Of what? that Of that open mic comic. Who? The one where... Oh, uh, my God, dude. Get how funny is that? fuck out of here with right. that. We're not going to obviously name anybody. No. But uh, this, this female comic... We'll do a what would you do scenario. This is really great. This female comic films herself, and she's laying on her bed and filming above her head Mm -hmm. like so it's a downward angle looking so she's looking up at the camera laying on her bed it's the angle if you go on online dating all girls do where they hold a camera over their head and it's just straight cleavage yeah it's just her tits yeah (laughs) literally probably get in trouble for saying that uh but you did that's literally what the it's an it's an angle that whether you know it or not for your face to look skinny and for your tits to look great that's literally it's what she's doing in this video and then she sings us she plays a song like that Mm mm-hmm so, I mean, if you're going to play a song, obviously that's not how you're going to sit to fucking... If if the focus of that video was how good the song would sound, yeah. you wouldn't fucking play it laying on your back. Well, if you're like a Roman, like a... Uh, if you're like in a harem and you're like Perhaps. paid and you're like... Perhaps. That's the only way. But she put up music video singing a funny song and uh, then the first comment is this guy who wasn't a comic that just knows her and he's like, love that angle, dot, 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 smiley face. Just yeah. a normal fucking dude had no idea the trap he just entered. I know. That's, that's what's and then funny. And it was like 50 comments of like open mic comics being like, don't be fucking sexist, you fucking asshole. Like all this shit. It's funny it's to like, think of dudes who live outside that bubble and yeah, they just yeah. kind of like poke into this weird realm and they're just like, what the fuck is poke, going on? poke in and they're like, hey, nice tits. I mean, they, everyone's <laughs> like, fuck you, asshole. Get the fuck out of here. He's like, whoa, sorry, dude. And sorry. dude, to be fair to him, it's like. It was a trap, dude. It's a, it's. Whether it was conscious or not. It was a tit trap. I think it was, but I can't, you know, whether it was conscious or not, it was designed. If you're a man and you're seeing someone laying there, it was designed in a way that you would go. She looks nice. Just tits. Like you, you just see tits and it's just the fucking reality of the situation. If somebody posts a video pretty much showing their tits, Mm -hmm. not showing their tits, but you know what I mean? Like. That's the boosting them, boost them, give them a good look. Yeah, that's the angle you went for. It was Dude, like if I fucking took a so if I did a video in like tight sweatpants and I had like a yeah. nice little semi going and I was like laying like face if down I on put the bed, my dick bulge in the camera and then played the harmonica. Exactly, dude. People yeah. wouldn't be like, nice harmonica. They'd be like, yeah, Whoa, dude, why'd you put your boner online? Exactly. So that's the and that's the thing, and it just sucks because like even people who are like. Like, I'd love to give people truth serum who are like, why don't you fucking leave her alone? It's like, dude, you watched that video and you're like, damn, look at her tits. <laughs> you definitely did, dude. Get the fuck out of here. There's no oh, way you just, my. you well, were, yeah. there's no way you watched that and didn't for a split second go like, whoa, well, nice angle. And then like, like <laughs> exactly what that guy said. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it's just funny that like he said that thinking that's what she was going for. You know what I mean? Like she set up that angle to do that. Yeah, and then he commented like, "Nice angle." Yeah, like I see what you did there. Thanks, that was nice. Yeah, he was like, "Cool." Yeah, good angle that you chose. Yeah, intentionally. Yeah, and then everyone was like, "Fuck you, dude." I mean, dude, if you if you go on YouTube, they put like thumbnail pics over videos exactly set up like that to get visual attention. Yeah, so it's like, well, anyway, I I mean, how dare I mean? The the thing is, though, (laughs) it is funny. The thing is, it's like. So if you, if I say had huge tits and I just kind of like had them kind of kicking around. Sure. You don't even think about, dude. Like, it's just weird because like you can't, it, there's, it's such a visual trap. Huge tits are a visual trap. <laughs> if I see them, it's all, camel toes. We're not talking about that video. No, anymore, not that video. By the way. You no, know, because I'm talking about camel toes now. I don't want to open camel my toes. getting fired up about this. Yeah. Camel toes. <laughs> well, I give a fuck. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I, I give a fuck. I don't want people not to like me because I, I like everyone. But it's like camel toes and big tits. If I see them, <laughs> it's literally all I can look at. Of course. Dude, and when people are like, well, then you're just culturally poor. Dude, when I was eight years old, I've talked about this before. My ski instructor, I was skiing at Big Boulder. My parents ditched me. and were like, you go to ski school. And they just <laughs> yeah. like fucked around all day. So I was going down this lady's pants split. And I could see her panties. I'm, dude, I'm mm. eight years old. And it's all I could look at. 
Hell yeah. She had a frosty little camel toe, and I was just going down making the pizza, just like, oh my God. And she kept being like, look up, look up, stop, look up. And I couldn't stop looking. This lady asked me 10 times to stop looking at her camel toe on the mountain, and I was like, I can't stop looking at that. It's awesome. And I'm eight, dude. No one told me about that. I saw it and was like, whoa. Yeah. Like you, the fact that people want to deny like the, vis- like the visual aspect to male biology is sure. crazy to me now. It's like, how, that's what you thought of? It's like, yeah. It's yeah. exactly what I thought about. I saw that and I was like, oh, that, that's a tit angle. Yeah. That's a tit angle. Tit angle. If, but, I, had, if I had a thing, a phone the resting the reason on... that that video was taken from that angle was to make it a tit angle. Yeah. M- most likely. I mean, I if you can't be certain. you can't be just unresponsibly wielding titties around like that, dude. You get yeah. your tit license. If I just fucking drive on the wrong side of the lane, dude, it's like, yo, give me your fucking license. Yeah. If you're just tossing tits out and then <laughs> criticizing people that are like, hey, nice tits, even you're he, in the wrong. He said nice angle, dude. <laughs> he wasn't he even talking tits. Said nice. So angle. how do they know when he said nice angle? How do they even know he was being creepy? Maybe he just liked the film. Maybe he's a, a student of film. He was. He was. So he how did like, how did people good, even man. assume he if if they didn't know film that they were filming at a tit angle? How did they know he was referring to tits by saying nice angle? Because everybody knew they were referring to tits. Exactly, <laughs> dude. Every single exactly. person was like, "Yeah, tits." So how did they, like? Because it was vague. It was also funny. One of the comments she wrote was like, "The views are really high on this, but not a lot of people are liking this." <laughs> it's like, uh, yeah. Because <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna fucking click like on a tit video. True. What, you think I'm a fucking idiot? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, that was hilarious. Oh my god. I see hot chicks post pictures all the time, and I'm like, eh, not going to like that. No chance. But but the funny thing is, is like, why would you like that? And also, not talking about that person anymore. Relax. I know, yeah. Well, not you. I'm talking about the fucking disgruntled dork who's listening to this. That's like, those guys are such assholes. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Woo! Better than you, dog. Suck it. (laughs) Suck a dick. The funny thing is, is like, why? I mean, the same thing happens with me with tipping. If I go in, like, if there's like, if I go into like a coffee shop and it's like a hot barista lady, mm-hmm. I thoughtlessly am like two bucks, three bucks. Like, I just have like the same thing really? with, like, yeah, dude. If I'm in, if I'm checking out at like I don't Target, tip. I'm very European in that sense. If I'm checking out at I'm Target, very black and European in that sense. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm checking out at Target, I just look for the hottest cashier and I get in her line. That's no matter how long it is, though. I'm just like, oh, there's a hot chick and I just get in her line. Yeah, well, they're nice. Yeah, they actually, yeah, they usually are. Yeah, but it's funny to see to them. a hot chick on Instagram and like, it, it doesn't benefit you in any way to like it, but you're just like, I got to double tap that. I have to let her know that I, I, I'm i with this picture. her beauty. Yeah. I, I can't do that. I don't, I don't go on Instagram like that, well, but it's, see, just, I didn't it's know. funny how you're like, oh, nope, nope, nope. I can't well, like this that. This was really funny because I didn't know. I think I've talked about this before, but I didn't know other people could see your, what you liked on Instagram. Really? So, like, I was liking hot chicks' pictures, and my girlfriend was like, oh, yeah, you like curvy girl XO's <laughs> fucking pictures? I was like, no, I was fucking, it was an accident. <laughs> See, why did you like it? That's the thing. Why did you double tap it? I did. I and know. she was like, what the fuck? But what is that, you know what I mean? Because you can totally look at and appreciate you gotta give it. Them, you got to give them some fucking acknowledgement. You got to set them up. I know. It's just, it's fun. It's funny to think about Facebook and Instagram as, like, this weird ecosystem of just, like, buttons and clicks that are totally arbitrary. To where it's like, like when I would go on Facebook and write a status, I would check back ten minutes later. If I got like high likes, I'd be like, "Fuck yeah, dude!" And then like, I'd be like, let me swing over to fucking Twitter, and I'd be like, "Ooh, a retweet! All right." And I I'd be like, "I'm you, fucking dude. killing it today." I just posted a tweet before we started, and it is not flourishing, it, dude. And it, and it makes you I feel bad. I think it's uh, totally unoriginal. I think that's the problem with it. Yeah, but it's just weird to think it that is, like your that your day, it. your mood can be ruled by like that little icon of a globe lighting up, and you're like, "Ooh, a lot of notifications. Ooh, I got a lot of likes," and it's like. They don't translate really into anything. Damn, that's a deletable tweet. What is it? Dude? They, exactly. Dude, I'm telling you, you gotta you gotta get off social media. The last tweet I just said was, "There's an inverse correlation between how funny your shirt is and how funny you are." <laughs> Wait, was this in Starbucks? And what was the first no. draft like? There's an inverse popula- There's an inverse thing with black. No, there's an inverse <laughs> yeah, thing yeah, with yeah, black. Yeah. No, <laughs> between pit bulls and black people's wealth. No, that would be a direct correlation. Uh, and then yesterday, this did well, dude. This I got twenty six likes. And See, a that's retweet. the fucking. That's, that's, a big good, that's good stuff. At this point, there's about an eighty percent chance my dad's last words are "dilly dilly." <laughs> how, how good did you feel afterwards? 
Uh, see, I don't know though, because I don't think either of those are very funny. I just they just seem like the typical fucking Twitter fucking gay shit that people like on Twitter. Yeah, I don't feel strong about either of those. Yeah, in fact, I'm deleting that. But right you now. got more, you know, it added to your, uh, it added to like the illusory economy of fucking clicks and you know what deserved lit up more buttons. was when I last week when I retweeted Trump's, uh, oh his thing. female march, and I said one of the greatest counterpunchers of our time. That got that got warmly got recepted. Like seven likes. That's Deserved pretty good more. on That's, Twitter. It's funny to call him a counterpuncher. Likes on Twitter are like dog years, so it's like seven likes what is type a fifty of dogs? like. Because that that fluctuates dog years. Because golden retrievers. Oh, the white dog, <laughs> the, the New England Patriots of dogs. Yeah. <laughs> I try to think of the whitest dog I could think of. That is uh, chocolate there's little labs. Shitty, yeah, chocolate labs. Little shitty dogs are very white. I'm prejudiced against when I see white uh, people entering the dog park with like a lab, like a couple. I'm like, pussies. I always in my head, really? I'm like, yeah. Because whenever it's like my dogs are in there fucking scrapping, dude. So like I see them come in and I just go, no oh, shit. Yeah, but see, when I see white dudes with pit bulls, I'm a little like, really? Why? So what do you think? It's like dude? the Corvette of dogs. No, it's not. It's like the hacky Corvette of dogs. No, you go to a dog shelter you're and you're like, Corvette what do you guy. got? And they're like, we have uh, pit bulls oh, yeah. and we right. have pit well, bulls and we it. have pit bulls. Yeah, yeah. Dog kennels around here would have strictly pit bulls. Yeah, they have a lot. Yeah, that makes sense. They, or they have like weird, they'll get, every now and again, they'll get like the, uh, that's the other thing too. A lot of black people have loved little tiny dogs too. So I know. You get, you I, get, I, I said you get, that a minute ago and I was teeny, like, oh yeah, I forgot about that. You get teeny little, uh, a lot of those yeah. teeny white fluffy dogs that go around, dude. It's so funny. It's a favorite of the black community, which is great. That'd be yeah. cool if that was their flag. It's a teeny little fluffy <laughs> white dog. Teeny little fluffy white dog. Do you know there's a black national anthem? What? Yeah. I found that out. Is it EI by Nelly? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> I don't remember it. It's, it was on the, uh, fuck, what was that thing? That it was the Def Jam 25 year anniversary oh, thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They sing the black national yeah, anthem. Yeah. And I looked at Brittany and I was like, what's that? She's like, yeah, we used to say it in school. You did the national anthem, you did one other thing, then you sang the black national anthem. Jesus Christ. Yeah, dude. How you feel about that? Like that I was, dude, I've been trying to fucking exercise your demons you want to get the whole me fired time. Up? <laughs> I watched, uh, this was funny. I watched the Tupac Shakur movie last night. How was it? Uh, it was all right. I, I turned it off. Uh, I mean, it's like the, no, gym. I watched it it's, it's, like the it's like the Doors movie, basically. Last night I watched No Country for Old Men. Okay. Fucking great. That's such I a love movie. that movie so much. Oh, yeah, that is That's good. top 10 for me. Really? Top 10 all time. That's fair. No Country for Old Men. But, uh, Tupac Shakur movie, not top ten. It was still, I mean, it's cool. Dude, it's always cool to see a biopic and see how they like started and shit. Yeah, but, but they're tough to they be glorify good. his these people in the beginning that are like wanted FBI most wanted all this shit. Uh huh. And to an extent, they're right because the FBI did like the one guy I was reading about. I think it was his stepdad or his. They were like the FBI illegally kind of. They were trying to get him arrested. Yeah. But the guy did rob an armored truck and execute two guards. Really? And they leave that out in the movie. They're so like, you were, you were fact like, checking. You're robbing banks, huh? And it's like, well, he also murdered. Really? There's some murdering going on. So you on. did some fact checking. You always got to fact check these. They did the same thing with Angela Davis in that one. Uh, there was one documentary. Oh, the 13th Amendment. Yeah. About the industrial prison complex, all that shit, which is real, but. Oh, when they yeah they started doing the ki- indentured the, servitude basically like modern slavery. Is they would just steal. They were arresting just, black yeah, people. They would impose kids. Yeah, but They'd it's like uh, they had Angela Davis on there and she was talking and I was like, I wonder what she did to get arrested. And it was like, oh, she supplied guns to guys who shot up a courtroom and killed people. It's like so. I mean, maybe she's a hero, but she also, you know. Yeah. Why do they? Why do they? People. Why do they pick her of all people? Because there, there was like. Leader. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I know who you're talking yeah. about. If so, uh, yeah, I know you're. Ta- that was it, a. It's like. Wasn't I that think a, it's Angela Davis. I hope I'm not getting that name wrong. That'd be funny if Angela Davis. Was just Angela some, Davis like, is just actress. a random black lady. Yeah, yeah. Viola Davis, the yeah. lady that just is at every award show yeah. crying. <laughs> I watched this thing the other day on. Um, Angela Davis. There was a thing about like Malcolm X, and apparently he got. She killed. was hot. Angela Davis was hot. She had an afro. Yeah, I mean, you gotta be pretty hot if you're selling guns. American political activist. Also, is she still in jail? How about murderer? No. Wait, so she supplied weapons to someone who Leader shot of the up. the Communist Party. What and, did she do uh, again? She supplied weapons. Let me find out here. Well, there was a thing on Malcolm X where he... You know, he got murdered and they said he got murdered by the Muslim Brotherhood. 
Because that was like, everyone was like, well, white people killed Malcolm, Malcolm X, but the Muslim Brotherhood killed him. Yeah, of course. But not too long before he died, he had a, uh, who the fuck was the guy? I just talked about this guy the other day. Gaddafi. Gaddafi was like people, he from Libya, he was like on the people's champ and he tried to start an insurgency in America with black people being like, I'll give you guys guns. Remember fuck Gaddafi? the white man. Yeah. He was, they were, they were, so they'd be in like, uh, like the Muslim Brotherhood and they'd bring in a TV and they'd beam in fucking Gaddafi. Gaddafi did that? He Gaddafi. Was white skinned. I know, but he was just like, he was like, Arabic. I'm a, he was like, I'm a freedom fighter, dude. Cause yeah, he went, they he lived in, the Arabs he, don't really respect he lived black in, people. Yeah, but Gaddafi, he's also, he's a politician. He lived in London and he felt like everyone slighted him. So he's like, fuck white people. And he went and was linking up with these Muslim Brotherhood dudes. Like, I'll get you guns, rise up against white people in America and fuck them up. Mm. So Malcolm X, like when they're like, you know, like, why do they fucking want to kill him? He was, they were having meetings like, yo, this guy will arm us. Fuck these guys rise up. And then he came back and was like. I'm not really with that Muslim Brotherhood shit, and the Muslim yeah, Brotherhood yeah, yeah. apparently killed him, which is why I'm sure there's tons of conspiracies about it. Angela Davis did. Uh, she was as as a result of purchasing, she purchased the firearms used in a 1970 armed takeover of a Marin County, California courtroom in which four people were killed. So, so she bought Although the this guns. Is odd. She was persecuted for conspiracy. She was later acquitted of this charge. Hmm. Maybe but, they're trying to pin it on her, dude. Maybe she was a commie. Maybe. Uh, no, I or, read. I read this before. She was pretty fucking. She was guilty with the guns. Yeah, I don't know, man. I she could have. Uh, it is uh, what you're saying though is to be like again, like the Tupac stepdad, where it's like, like he was just a good robbery. old bank robber. Yeah, and it's, it's like, like well, he well, executed two guys, he also killed people. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. They should put that in. Yeah. Just to add to the completeness of the whole thing, to be like, so wow, what actually just... happened? Yeah, you know, yeah, exactly. Instead yeah. of like, the yeah. FBI was just bulge, barging in on a guy trying to feed his family. Yeah, it's like no, he killed two people. Yeah. So. Yeah, and if your basic goal, that's the other thing that cracks me up, and it's like your basic goal is to feed your family. It's like there's a lot of lesser crimes you can do. You don't got to <laughs> fucking rob an armored truck. You know what I mean? Yeah, this is. I don't want to get into this shit. I yeah, I, this is. Hey, dude, it's your instincts, dude. No, it's not my instinct. Churning from the fucking inner Mordor that lays inside you, dude. Perhaps. <laughs> you, you, Perhaps. You know. <laughs> I am as God made me, dude. <laughs> I, just, I just treat everybody as equals. That's sick. You're That's... working on your, um, your racial sympathies. What do you mean? You're trying to just knock off your fucking prejudiced behavior. No, I'm not. I'm not trying to do that. You've been them all on me. It's just funny you've to You've been like... definitely placing them all on me. No, I was just, I was just you've pointing out what you've, you've done. You've been projecting, dude. When did I project? Telling me that stuff about like black people and pit bulls and getting me into really bad situations where I had to fucking... What, getting you to speak what was... <laughs> when I, I did get... That was a good move to be like, what do you think about pit bulls? Like, yeah, hey, it's a like, good breed. They're you. nice, but it's just what happens. It's about the people who raise them. And it's with any dog, too. That's the thing. Of course. It's why golden retrievers are so fucking docile. No, dude. So, dude, fashion you want to talk whites. about dogs? Good old you want to talk about whites. Go down south. All of the fucking yeah, the South, bad dogs yeah, 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 are raised true, by true. shitty white people who true. are poor, and they tie dogs to a pole, and they beat them, <laughs> yeah, and yeah. they just fucking, they're horrible. No, white people are garbage. Everybody's equal. Okay. That's how I feel. Nice, dude. How do you think of it? What do you think of that, dude? I, lo- I fucking hate it, dude. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> All right, where the fuck are we at, Tom? We're at a fucking this, 57 this minutes, is, dude. This, is too, this cast is hot, dude. This is too much. This cast is hot. Um, I have a good show this weekend. I'll be at Punchline oh, yeah. Thursday, Friday, Saturday with oh. the Michelle Wolf from uh, the very neo-Marxist liberal daily show. Oh, my God. And she God. just had a special on HBO that's really good. I, I talked about her a while ago. I said that. Yeah, I remember that. I saw it at the cellar. I was like, that's, that's a female comic that's really funny. She's like, Maybe she'll bring you on stage with her. Hopefully. <laughs> you guys will all wear white. <laughs> I'll go on stage and be like, Michelle Wolf, unbelievable voice. <laughs> Still raped. You should come out despite one, her screeching. During her act, you should come out at one point and be like, "I hope you're praying." <laughs> I'm like, "Get out of here, dude! This is not the part." For that. <laughs> no, she's got some funny rape jokes. Yeah, I heard she's really funny. Yeah, she's... I have a fucking hot ass show this weekend, dude. What are you, oh yeah, I, all about the money, dude. True, it's all about the money. You're in Lancaster, PA. I was this, chilling, this dude. I was in early retirement, and, and I the number out, was big enough, dude. I'm like Conor McGregor. I was. I'm like Mayweather right now. I'm, I was not like, I'm not credit fighting for this. I'm not fighting. Yeah, Shane, You're not giving me any Shane, credit for this. Shane, I'm just eating Shane scraps. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually thinking that I was. Uh, 
I might just become a Shane Gillis impersonator, and whenever dates you can't do, I'm just going to memorize all your well, jokes and what, just go uh, to. <laughs> that's what the one guy said on Saturday. <laughs> on Saturday, I was like, you could just send McCusker. And yeah. he was like, yeah, no one would fucking know the difference. So I was like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Did you ever see Devil's Double? No. Hire me as your double, dude. It's Saddam, oh, Saddam, Saddam Hussein, Hussein hires yeah, like yeah, a yeah, double yeah. to give speeches. If you just can't do a gig, be like, I'll be there. And I'll just roll up and just be like, just do all Perfect. your shit. You could go on it anywhere as me. People would be like, yeah, that's him. Yeah. No one knows, dude. No one gives a fuck. Being a Shane Gillis impersonator would be sick, dude. I saw the Gint Man this weekend. He was at Punchline. Oh, yeah. How was Gint he? Swag. He was really funny. Nice. Ginty. Shout out Jimmy Ginty. I heard he had a good set. Really that's what, great. That's what Blizz was saying. Really funny stuff. That's what Blizz was saying. And then uh, in a couple weeks, I'm in fucking Oklahoma. Woo! I gotta contact the main board. There's a bunch of Oklahoma Sooners on there. Okies on there. I gotta tell them just be listen, dude. I'm coming to some fucking Indian casino in a few weeks. Damn, dude. February seventeenth. But what's weird about that is, oh yeah, in Boston, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth. So if, not that anybody here li- listens to this from Boston. No, they might. You never fucking know. Maybe two. Yeah, they'll, they'll be like they'll be hyped. But yeah. um, I got an email from this casino because it's a lot of money, and they like. Make you fill out all this shit, mm-hmm. which is crazy to fly to Oklahoma for one show. But the it's just money's, one show, but money's it's, it's right. good money. Yeah. But um, I was reading like the contract because I had my sister. I had my sister fill it out because I don't. You know, I'm not gonna. Hell yeah. print, I'm not gonna print and scan. You're from, an artist, bro. But um, she was reading the contract to me, and it was like, you're not allowed to drink. You're not allowed to have a beer, an on stage oh, or an, or an yeah. hour before the show. Or money will be taken. Uh, but then it got it weird, like, no vulgar or obscene acts or, con- like, it's real shady shit, like, as far as what you can say. Oh, it's just super, if like, it's vague, like, don't, don't be obscene or vulgar. Yeah. It's, it's like, like I'm definitely, this is comedy. Who Who's the headliner? Soder. Yeah, I mean, And like, he's, he's, he, he's kind of dirty. Yeah. He's not, he ain't no bitch. I think they just put that in there to protect themselves. So if someone does complain, if somebody like, jerks oh, yeah. off on stage, true. Well, whatever. If you that's the case, fucking jerk off I'm going to Oklahoma and not making any money. I if I have to do it, like dude. a half hour clean, they're gonna like pay you real anyway. clean. You don't have to. Don't get in your head about. I that. can't even do a half hour. I can't even do this. Do you text? Do you text them about it and ask exactly like what that ah, entails? Fuck it. No, I'm not gonna make a stink about. It. There's no way it's. That's, there's no way that's dude, real. There's there, if there's one way to take the wind out of my sails. It's like right before I go on, I'm like oh, try to just try to keep it. You know, be clean, a little clean. Don't. Oh, because it's like what the fuck does that entail? And then you're clean, and then the headliner comes out and is dirty, and you're like, I didn't have to be clean. Yeah, it's nothing worse than that, dude. That's I'd literally really, the worst thing. Be, being told to be clean at a comedy show fucking sucks. It's 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 literally it, it kills me, dude. As a host, when people are, I, I would host sometimes, and they'd be just be like, "No, just don't just don't swear." Yeah, nothing dirty. Well, then you're in your head the whole time. You're nothing like, dirty, no cursing, and it's just like, what the fuck. I did an Armenian church, dude, and I said the word booty, and it came <laughs> off my lips, and I was just like, and a bunch of fucking weird Armenians were looking at me, and I was just like. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna bring up this magician. You guys are gonna fucking love. <laughs> fucking Jesus Christ. Yeah, we talked about that because yeah. the first time I did uh, McGooby's, the host, he yeah. was like, I mean, it was like the first time I met him, mm-hmm. the manager, and he was like, yeah, just keep it clean as the host, don't swear as much. So I was like, instead of ass, I said butt. <laughs> <laughs> it just came off so Really, bad. what they're worried about is guys coming in there like yeah, host, saying, like, my fucking cunt bitch yeah. girlfriend. Fucking bitch. And the N-word. Yeah, dude. If you're a, I've seen hosts drop that. And it's just really? Like, what the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> comics drop that all the time. Bad comics say the N-word I never really, on stage. I've never seen a host crazy. fucking rip I that. Have. And not like hard, but I'm saying like quoting or saying like... Yeah, I hear I've you. I've seen it a couple times. Ripped Damn, where it's dude. just like... Like I just say the N word. I mean, that's like, and I've seen it get. I've seen people get away with it. It is always awkward. Saying it in a, like quoting someone or doing an impersonation of a black person. That's true. With with an A ending. Yeah, it's definitely that's definitely the punchline before the joke when they're like, "How can I say this?" And yeah, like uh, all right, perfect. How about uh, Puerto Ricans can say it? I see Hispanics get away with it. Certain Southeastern Asians. Really? Certain dude, certain. If you're goalie enough, like if you're like a white guy from like Kensington, yeah, 
It's all about how it comes off your tongue. There's some guys sure. who say it, and it's like, damn, you've been saying that forever, dude. It's like when we had Satoyo on here. He's black, and when he says it, I'm like, whoa, yeah. you shouldn't be saying that, <laughs> you know, dude. It's true. <laughs> how it comes off the tongue, man, is kind of weird. So I know white guys who would say it, and I'd be like, that seemed kind of normal. So they did pretty good with that. To where, like, yeah. if I try to slip that in a ca- casual conversation, it would just, everyone on a bus would be like, yo, bro, what, yeah. what the fuck is that? What bus? Would you happen Any to be bus. on a bus in Birmingham? Mega bus. What's, what bu- what's the bus the in N-word? What bus is that? I don't know, dude. You tell me. I literally have no idea. A little Rosa Parks action? Why would I do that? Is that, that? what you're doing on those why, buses? Why would I you do just that, said dude? you said the N word on buses. Wow, here it comes, dude. <laughs> Oozing out, man. <laughs> Woo! Ooh! Damn, dude. This is a throwback alt right Nazi cast. This <laughs> is a Nazi, these in dude. A while. All I've been doing can't is. I can't believe you're a Nazi now. I'm not a Nazi. I've just been speaking the truth. You fucking dude. Nazi pig you bitch. fucking asshole. Oh my God. We're going to purify your heart, dude. My heart is as pure as it gets. Yeah. Pure yeah, white, baby. dude. Pure as a driven snow. <laughs> <laughs> Matt's racist. No, I'm not. Yeah, he is. This, is. this cast is over. Sorry. This is our State of dude. the Union, dude. <laughs> we may or may not be dropping a bonus episode mm-hmm. following the State of the Union. Maybe. We might. So keep keep your uh Yep. Keep post stay posted for that. Break down. And then uh people from Philly go to Punchline this weekend. Yep. Or Lancaster. Go see Matt on, on in Lancaster on Friday. I'm just doing all sing I'm just doing sixty nine my dad did like ten 69 times. My dad kills. Do it ten times. Big like, thank you guys. You guys are awesome. Yeah, sixty nine my dad. That's a fucking sick joke. Yeah. Um God bless everybody. Mm-hmm. Sorry to all our black listeners about what Matt said about pit bulls and you guys can't raise them you right. Guys sorry about that. You know who the um, enemy is, dude. Sorry about what Matt said about start, Kesha. Nope. Matt said some horrific I'm gonna start, things. I'm going to start supplying our black listeners with ammunition, dude. They're going to rise against you. <laughs> oh, I'm, Gaddafi. Gaddafi. I'm Gaddafi. I'm <laughs> Gaddafi. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Stop, dude. Stop talking about black people like you know them. What are you talking about? You need to, you, you, you need to stop doing that. <laughs> I at least respect their experience and understand that I have nothing to do with it. And I treat it as such. You. Yeah, with latex gloves and a pinch nose, You dude. think you have the right. That's a disgusting <laughs> statement. That's almost, that's, as, that's almost as bad as your Obama when, when you Empire State Building. No. Remember when you said that? Get the fuck out of here. I was a brainstorming, dude. <laughs> What's really funny is uh, Ahmed Weinberg did that. Remember that? What did he do? He, he had this. He has a Ramadan diary. Uh-huh. This... Uh, Great thing. And uh, <laughs> he he was making fun of... I forget what the joke was, but he was talking about a Trump supporter. He just said something really racist in this thing he was writing. Yeah. As a Trump supporter. So but he was like, was this his. is a Trump supporter saying something horribly racist. But it was just his. And I messaged him and I was like, you wrote that. Yeah. Like, you're the one who said the racist joke there. <laughs> yeah, dude. You thought of that fucked up joke about, like, <laughs> bars, prison bars or something. I forget what it was. Really? Yeah, what did he say? Did he own it up? He was like, oh, shit, should I delete that? <laughs> I was like, nah, fuck it, dude. No yeah. one's going to call you out on that. Everyone's yeah. going to be like, that is something a Trump supporter fuck would damn. stay. True. Shouldn't have named him, but fuck it. No one cares. Yeah, we, I mean, dude, we all got a little Voldemort in us, dude. You definitely do. I, don't, do. I let it all out. Every ounce of hate in my heart you is out You couldn't there. if you tried. You are fucking Voldemort, dude. Don't say my you name, You are Voldemort, dude. dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Harry Potter. No, you're not. Yep. I'm no. HP. You're no, Voldemort. No, no, no. You're Voldemort. You are... You're Severus Snape. You're some bitch-ass spider in the woods, dude. That Talking about the spiders in the Chamber of, of Secrets? Yeah, you're just a shithead out there. Mindless moron out in the woods. <laughs> Jerking off. I'm fucking. You're haggard. <laughs>